This story comes to us from WSAZ.com. Out of Sandy Hook, Kentucky. Uh, this one, I really searched for so much information and there's none. There's no information on this story. And it really gets, it raises questions as to, I'm going to give it to you. And there's some questions in here, and I'm going to kind of point out a, the, the biggest question that I have. So if you're intrigued, let's move on. Kentucky State Police are investigating a trooper-involved shooting that happened Sunday night in the Sandy Hook area of Elliott County, Kentucky. <clears throat> now, the Kentucky State Police Critical Incident, Critical Incident Response Team has been requested to investigate the January 1st, New Year's Day, shooting that took place at approximately 8.42 p.m. According to Kentucky State Police, the preliminary investigation indicates that troopers were dispatched to the community of Middle Fork. Yeah, I can't read. Once on, scene, Kentucky, once on scene, Kentucky State Police reports that two troopers fired at a man who they say became a deadly threat to law enforcement. The release from KSP says the individual was transported to a hospital for treatment of inj his injuries. Now the KSP says it is the agency's standard operating procedures not to release specific details until witnesses have been interviewed and all facts have been gathered. Because this guy became a deadly threat to law enforcement. Now we know, because I've done so many editorials, that we know if he had pointed a gun at the troopers, they would have said a man holding a gun at, at troopers. If he had raised a knife, a man raised a knife at troopers, if he had a machete. But they just say, oh, he became a deadly threat. How? Ah, oh, we're not releasing any specific information. You know, that's our procedures. Is that just your procedure in Sandy Hook, Kentucky? Because you know other law enforcement agencies if the guy had a gun, or the guy had a knife, or the guy had a baseball bat, it was in the story. Not just, well, he's a deadly threat. How? Wait and find out. We got to get our narrative straight.